Hello, my name's Isaiah, and in this video we're going to talk about the flashing uh, your video card for the Touring RTX, and this is more of an update video about kind of what I found and what's been working. Now, I know I've got a lot of comments saying, oh, I used this video card, I flashed this. Once again, when I made that video, I made it clear that I'm not advocating flashing your video card, and if you mess it up, you messed it up. So I can't really tell you when to flash it, when not to flash it. I don't really want to because, once again, I don't want to give you false information. So, this video video really kind of continues on the path of uh, knowledge. I figured out a little bit more since the last time and I'll, maybe I might have presented information wrong in a sense that some stuff I wasn't very clear on and that is because when I made the video flashing your video card for the RTX cards was very new so it's now been a few months and people have really um, figured out it and fine-tuned it and all that so let's get started. All right, so let me get this out of the way quick and clear. If you have a non-A variant chip, NVIDIA has classified it as a different GPU die or silicone, whatever you want to call it. For that reason, you can't flash a a BIOS to a non-A a non -A video card. It just doesn't work. It'll give you a message saying mismatch ID. Really what that means is since the BIOS is encrypted, we can't flash a different uh, video card. It's like saying you got a 260 and you want to flash it and make it a 280. You can't, even though physically they might be the same architecture. We can't just flash it and say it's a new card. Now it's kind of a little bit weird because the, the non-A variant and the A variant really, as far as we can tell, are just been differently. Like they had a whole batch of them and said this one can't overclock very well and this one can overclock very well. So that's kind of the main difference. Now, if you have non-A variant card, pretty much all those video cards have a very low overclocking or no overclocking features because of the power limit is so low. Yes, your voltage still goes up to 1.068, but since your power limit or power target is a lot lower than your overclock edition cards, you're really kind of stuck what you get and you can't do much about it. There is no OC edition of the non-A cards. So next up I want to talk about is the bias flashing for the basic 280 and 280 Ti. Now a lot of people said, well, I've got this Hall of Fame, Galax Hall of Fame BIOS and it works fine for my video card. I want to tell you right now that you do not have the Galax Hall of Fame edition BIOS because that will not work on your video card. What you probably have is the Galax Reference Edition, which actually has a lot higher power limit and uh, that's just them doing what they do. So. That's good. Now, Galax and KFA2 are interchangeable. They are the same company. One's marketed to Europe, one marketed to America. The difference is pretty much you can only buy the card in Europe anyways, so it doesn't matter which version you get. So when you see a BIOS that says KFA2 or Galax, they are the same company and the same video card, it's just different markets. With that being said, the BIOS people are finding online that is over 400 watt, like 406 watt, that is a leaked BIOS from MSI for their custom cards. Um, unofficial source is probably came from a competition. Uh, it seems to be the developer module, so it, it has pretty much an unlimited power target. Uh, when I say that, I don't really mean unlimited, but at 100, 406 watts, that pretty much goes above any default voltage limit. If the voltage limit is 1.068, which it is, um, that part power target of 106 is not really a problem. I mean, let's go with sub-zero maybe. But even then, that's not going to be a major factor. Next up is the Galax cards. Once again, I said the Hall of Fame edition, nobody's using the BIOS for because you can't use that BIOS. It has a different VRM. It has a different phase count. Pretty much everything about that card is worn off and unique. If you flash that BIOS to your card, you're going to brick it. Simple as that. The BIOS people are thinking about is 380 watt for the 280 Ti. And uh, that's 380 watt BIOS. And originally it was a leaked it was because the card wasn't out yet. Now you can officially find the BIOS on the Tweak Town's BIOS collection page. If you're gonna flash your video card, if you have a 280 non-TI version, you pretty much might as well just go with the EVGA XG Ultra or the Founders Edition uh, BIOS because both of them pretty much top out about near the same. Uh, there isn't really a video card for the 280 that go above 330 watts. Power limit, no is setting world records of that video card, so the companies aren't putting out these crazy BIOSes for it, or I guess video cards for it. Next up is the 280 Ti. That is the one that has all the BIOSes for. If you, on the low end, your NVIDIA Founders Edition or the EVGA Ultra cards, the BIOS is about 330 watts. That is going to still be below your, your voltage limit. So if you are going cold enough, you will want a higher BIOS. So 
I suggest getting the KFA2 BIOS, which is 380 watts. It does use a reference board, and it's probably the safest BIOS you're gonna find without really going crazy with the rest of the BIOSes. Now, that being said, for all this, if you took a video card and you overclocked it, the base model is probably gonna get you about 2000 megahertz, maybe 2050 or so. If you take the overclock version, you might get 2100. If you take the extreme BIOS, you might get 2150. And that is just how it goes. Um, the next step would be to go colder. So if you're putting a water block on that video card, you're temperature can be about 40 Celsius. About 2150 is gonna be your limit. Um, you really can't go much higher than that. Flashing your BIOS is not really a reason to, unless you just wanna get every ounce of product out of your video card. I suggest leaving your card alone. Once again, I made the video in the first place saying don't do this, but you can do it. And the reason why I say don't do this because first off, it can damage your video card. And second off, it kind of wastes your time. You're really not going to gain too much out of it, especially if you don't put a water block on it. If you're not doing dry ice or liquid nitrogen cooling, there is really no reason to get the extreme BIOS for your video card. So thank you for listening to my ramble. I'm just trying to update everybody on the video card situation and what I have uncovered.